The exhibition Palisades at the Serpentine Sackler Gallery is essentially one work that involves two works within it. A minute ago, the video when you first walk in, and Palisades and Palisades, the video right behind that, and a sound piece that links the two works together. A minute ago is a work that I shot at the Glass House in New Canaan, Connecticut, and it really came from a very basic experience that I had, which was experiencing a sudden gust of wind when I was in a coffee shop outside the window and everyone in the shop kind of freezing and becoming afraid. And in that moment, there was the weather outside and the glass barrier between myself and those of us together and the gust of wind. And so I became interested in the history of glass in architecture, which led me to the international style of movement within modernist architecture, which led me to the glass house. And something that recurs in glass when it's used in architecture is this relationship to collage, that the glass window itself collages the image outside with the image inside, different distances flatten together. And so the work was a way of bringing this question of what is the relationship between catastrophe and collage, and how is this inflected in very everyday circumstances of buildings around us. The two works both address questions of inside and outside. Palisades and Palisades is a work that I shot in Palisades Park, New Jersey, which is just across from New York City. And the park sits on a very ancient cliff, which is 200 million years old. There was this hugely geological ancient formation just across the river. And that on top of it, there was this thin surface of a 19th century park. I had been researching the history of the relationship between park design and the evolution of the novel into the film sequence. And the link is these linking of different episodic structures. In the 19th century park, you have a garden, an enclosure, a pastoral field, all linked by a pathway. In the novel, it's literally the length of the book linking different episodes or chapters. In film, the timeline links the cuts together, these sort of mini episodes that form larger sequences within the timeline. So I was interested in, in how you could look at a park, a very basic, in a way, everyday park, and discover within it a geological and a social history that is just under its surface. And so to construct the work, I worked with a remote control camera rig uh, to create shots that went from very far away to very close up. And the reason I was interested in this was that I felt that in a sense it was a metaphor for this relationship to time, that things that are very far away seem like images of themselves. You don't quite know them or understand them, but when they are then close up or in the present, they become like a pure and very sensual material. But all the time, it's the same thing. Um, so I wanted to show a transition from very far away to very close up without using any cuts so that you would experience all the transitional time in between as if I was compressing this history of the park into the way that I was using the shot. And then to go into the history of the park, I tried to work with a kind of trompe l'oeil form of editing so matching shots to shots so you felt like you weren't quite sure always what state or what time you were in. You were in a garbage bag, but maybe that's an animal's stomach, but maybe that garbage bag is in the park now. You're always unsure of which thing is situated where, and that was done through organizing the shots so they would mimic one another at the cut. Another component of the installation was that I really wanted to work with projected light and natural light together. This was also part of this outside-inside relationship. So all the windows in the gallery are open, and you'll notice that when you watch the videos, you can sometimes see a view outside the window in one of the galleries. You'll notice the reflection of natural light coming in as the projected light goes out. I took all of the sounds that were initially in the compressed soundtrack of Palisades and Palisades, which in themselves were descriptive of time. Things like a ricochet of a bullet, the sound of wind, a bird squawking, a rowboat, a steamboat, eyelashes, uh, all these discrete sounds which form the narrative and separated them out. And then 
work to have them cycle around the outside of Palisades and Palisades and a minute ago so that essentially the outside of a minute ago becomes the inside of Palisades and Palisades. In another way, at some times, the inside of Palisades and Palisades, the soundtrack mimics the outside of the park here. And so it was also bringing that outside into the gallery itself. Separately from this, I developed three cloud structures, which is an amalgamation of different speakers placed together in the gallery. And this was taking those discrete sounds and each discrete sound is locked into a speaker so that that cluster of speakers forms a new edit of the Palisades and Palisades soundtrack. In the corners, there's this constant reiteration of wind, bullet, bird squawk, cigarette smoke, a way of marking this link between the video and the building and the sound.